Five members of the men's track team were named to the U.S. Track and Field Cross Country Coaches Association All-Region Team. Chandar Anderson ranked second in the region in the men's 400-meter, Zion Murray ranked fifth. Jonathan Flemister placed third in the men's 200-meter. The 4x400-meter team, Zion Murray ranked fifth. John the 4x400-meter team featured all three of these sprinters along with Javon Riley as they flew to the second best time in the region. In field events, jumper Joe Colby Morgan earned all region spots in three different events, the long jump, triple jump, and high jump. Congrats to the Claflin men's track team, back-to-back C.I. Double A champs still being honored. The Panthers continue to eat. Hello, everybody. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach. And we're here today with another exciting episode of the Claflin Athletic Show. With us today, we have newly hired Mr. Perry Brown. He's the Claflin Director of Intramural and Wellness. He has a wealth of knowledge to bring to you about what he's doing, the programs he wants to implement, and his excitement at being on the Claflin University campus. Mr. Brown, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, it's, I always got to get the stars on. I got to get got to get the stars on. And welcome to Claflin. How's the, how long you've been there? And tell us what your impressions have been. Yes. Uh, yesterday, the 12th of May, one month here. And uh, it's been great. I'm definitely enjoying my time here and uh, uh, loving the, the students that has been participating and uh, just trying to be uh, be out there so I can uh, have so much to do for the students. Okay, tell us about where you're from, your background a little bit, uh, how you ended up at Claflin, just just all of that. We, you know, nosy people want to know. Yes, sir. Uh, originally from uh, Kentucky, uh, where I went off to Western Kentucky University, where I received my bachelor's and master's degree in sports administration. Uh, I started in 2006, where my first professional job at a, at a college, Indiana University Southeast. And as a student, I fell in love with recreational sports, and I knew this is what I wanted to do in my profession. Uh, so I just worked my uh, way up, and uh, I saw that this job was posted, and I knew I was ready to become a director. And uh, when I got invited to campus for an interview, I knew this was the, the right choice that I made to, uh, to apply for the job. I definitely enjoyed what I saw on campus, and uh, I'm de uh, definitely uh, excited for the opportunity to be the new director of Intramurals and Wellness. Okay, I, I see you. You got that title down pat. I, I had to practice it a little bit, get it roll off my tongue like I wanted to. Tell me a, a little bit, This and, and not that I'm putting you under the gun, but it seems like it's your first HBCU experience. Uh, if it is or if it's not, uh, enlighten yourself. Uh, no, sir. This is my third. Uh, my first college was Talladega College. Oh. Also, uh, Dillard University in uh, New Orleans. Now, this is my third one. Uh, I found that this is my niche. I definitely enjoy working on HBCU campuses and uh, being able to get the students out and participate in intramurals, club sports, fitness. And just getting them out their own room and at the and they man off books and just being able to come and relax. So, and I felt like this would be a great opportunity to get back at the HBCU and be able to give back to the students what I've learned coming up through my college experience. Oh, okay, okay, glad to hear that. Those experiences, the uh, two other fine uh, black college institutions that are kind of on a small scale, real intimate. Mm -hmm. where they really, really close to the students. I mean, them, mm -hmm. you should find some similarities to uh, both of them at Claflin. Yes, sir, I definitely have. Uh, this, like you said, a small community field, uh, campus community field, being able to put myself out there, get to know the students, the students get to know me, and uh, just trying to provide a lot for the students. Yes, absolutely. I'm. That's really kind of encouraging when you bring people in that have an HBCU experience <laughs> to be able to relate a little bit better to the students because Claflin, a lot of people say it's home or it's like a family, but at Claflin, it's the one place I can testify that it really is like that. Did you did you experience the same thing? Uh, yes, sir. Definitely when I was brought in for the campus interview, 
just walking on campus, I just felt felt at home. Uh, uh, from the people that I met, from uh, Mr. O'Neill to Miss Lee, Miss McCollum, uh, and the coaches, they made me feel welcome from the time I got on home from interview to to today. I'm definitely appreciative of all the help they have given me and shown me uh, throughout my time this one month since I've been here. I've been around HBCUs all my life, and that uh, athletic family at Claflin's a little special. They yes, they walk the walk and talk the talk. They really reach out and help each other. I'm really proud to be a yes, part of what they're trying to do. Yes, sir, and you're exactly right. And they, they have, like I said, from day one, uh, when I stepped foot on this campus on February the 12th, They've been there to help me through, through all my questions or concerns about anything. They definitely was there to answer them and just to show me. And uh, instead of just throwing me out to the wolves, they definitely helping me walk me through it. Then they allowed me to uh, make some make some decisions and for my program on my own, and they and they backing me with it. So I'm definitely appreciative of that. I don't think you realize how special what you said is, because I've seen situations where they give you a key mm-hmm. and. They, they pretty much leave you on your own. As you said, throw you out to the wolves. You got to figure out how to get messages off the answer machine and voicemail and everything. And you don't know how to do anything. But I am I have consistently heard how helpful everybody is in helping people adjust. Yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely has been a great, a great feeling just to know that I can go to any one of them and they are willing to help me out. Well, tell me this. You came in. You know, school's already started. You're in the second semester. Spring break is here. You come in. How has it been with the students? Uh, it's it's been great. Uh, they definitely was uh, a little timid at first, trying to see who's the new guy. Who? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but once uh, they got to see me out on campus and uh, at the games and stuff, uh, they got to speaking to me. They see that I'm definitely about my students, about the program. And definitely want to see them uh, grow in the program. So I definitely have come uh, to feel good about the things I'm doing for them. And uh, a lot of them are starting to work for me. And uh, they see how I am as a, a supervisor. Like I tell them, we are a team. Yes, I might be a supervisor, but I look at it as a, a team. I'm the football head football coach. But I need all of y'all helping me out to make this program the best. So I'm definitely appreciative of all the students that have come through the program and uh, participating and working for me. Now you've come in, the boat is already at sea, it's going down the river. What have you been able to do or what have you seen that you really, really enjoy and look to incorporate in your own program? Uh, One of the things is uh, club sports. Uh, They already had that going on, uh, the men basketball club sport team. And uh, I definitely want to enhance enhance that for them and also get the women started. So uh, for the past week, I've been helping out with the women's club team, uh, just getting them to practice so we can start in the next couple of weeks, we'll be starting uh, competition. So that's one thing I'm glad that was already there and I'm able to just come in and uh, uh, enhance it and uh, participate. So they had a men's club team, but they didn't have a women's team. Yes, the, yes, uh, they didn't have a coach. So uh, I was okay. able to, some of the women came to me, asked, can we get it started again? And I said, yes, I'm definitely for it. Whatever y'all need from me, I'm there to help you out. Uh, so, yes, we got we got some women, roughly seven uh, young ladies that will be playing in the next couple of weeks in the club uh, sport competition. Explain to the novice and to me, what is the difference in the club team's and your intramural teams? Yes, intramurals is recreational fun. Uh, they don't really, it's not very competitive. They just want to get out, really have fun out there with their friends and, and just enjoy that time. Uh, club sport is more competitive, but it's not varsity. You're not offered scholarships or anything, but you get to, get to go to different tournaments and compete. Like this upcoming year, our men's club basketball team, and hopefully the women is part of the National Club Basketball Association with other colleges and universities within the region. Uh, So I'm definitely looking forward to that uh, for the guys playing and for the women. So that's the biggest difference is more competitive club sports and more recreational intramural sports. You must mean competitive with with other club teams because man, I've seen some intramural teams that we've had at Florida A&M, boy. Mm -hmm. Especially the softball used to be 
the one, and it would get hot and heated. They'd have more people out there watching the softball in them reels than they had going to see the actual softball team. Yes, uh, yes, that's what I mean, more competitive. But, yes, the intramural, especially basketball, it, it gets competitive. It definitely do. But uh, a lot of times a lot of teams just get together for the recreational, for the fun of it, not more of the competitive side. But, yeah, at times intramural sports do get competitive. Oh, yes. And with the women, you get those sororities going against each other. Boy, you, you'd almost have to have armed police out there. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Man, that, and that's a uh, thing we're going to have on one of our other shows about how the women's basketball is, their tournament is growing and right there with the men. Yes, and uh, me, and, uh, me and some of my friends were just talking about that, how we know more of the women athletes this year than we do of the men athletes. So I think it's going to be a great, great tournament for the women's this year for the NCAA. And see, I'm glad to hear that you, you're making sure that women's program is going and uh, that you have a coach to get the women's club team up and running. And, you know, it's going to really be beneficial to what you're doing. So yes, tell me a little bit more about, you know, how you're operating the wellness center. Tell me something about your wellness center. And, mm -hmm. you know, those, that's an integral key part of student life. Yes. Uh, right now uh, we have a few programs, in I mean, uh, fitness programs uh, from yoga, uh, to high impact, uh, to spin class. So I'm trying to make sure that all the equipment is up to date, uh, make sure that the programs that, uh, that we offer for the fitness are being utilized. And also hopefully in the August, I will be adding some more for next semester, but I'm definitely making sure the wellness center is up to date. So the kids and, uh, Falcon staff feel welcome when they come in, they know they got some good equipment. It's not, nothing's broken down and everything is up to par for them. You do an aerobics class as well? Yes. Yes, sir. Man, I, I would tell guys, our athletes will go out and they try to do the, some of the aerobics class with the women laughing and joking. And, man, they came out of that sucker. Talking about, Coach, I can't do that, man. That, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, a lot of people think they could do it till they get into the class and they know, like, whoo, this, this is different. So, yes, I, I'm glad and I hope that we get more students come get involved in the, the aerobics class with the yoga and just see it's something different from just competing on the court or outside on the field. It's a great conditioner, including the spin class. I mean, that's why they got the water bottles with them. It, it gives you a workout in there. So for those people who don't know, if you want a good workout, you know, you need to get, get over there and, and be a part of what's going on over there in the wellness center. Yes, sir. And, and, and uh, a lot of times I try to set up an information table on campus so they can see me and uh, ask me questions so I can let them know what we have going on here in the, in the wellness center and uh, how they can be more involved. And uh, we're definitely going to put the spin bikes. One of the things I plan on doing in April is putting the spin bikes outside mm -hmm. and having a spin class so students can hear the music and wonder where the music coming from. So once they hear it and see the mu uh, people outside, Hopefully they get involved into the spin class. Oh, that's really a good move. That that's a strategic move. That's that hook to get them in. That's pretty good. Thank you. Is that part of your way to get the community and your faculty administrators involved as well? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, like I said, it's one big thing. They're going to send me on campus with information uh, tables set up on different areas, uh, so the faculty, staff, and the students can ask me questions. So. And I can tell them what we have going on. And hopefully some of the stuff do uh, interest them and they come down here and participate. Uh, one of the events that I have for the Falcon staff coming up along with the students is doing the NCAA bracket tournament. And my previous school, I had one and it was a big hit with the Falcon and staff. So hopefully we get the Falcon staff involved along with the students with the NCAA men's and women bracket challenge and uh, see who can pick the best bracket. Oh, I like that. I like that. You, those ideas, you know, uh, relative to the, the season and things like that. I, I love it. I love it. People ought to be excited with some of the programs that you're trying to implement. Thank you. Tell me a little bit of how, what your plan is to get the community involved because Claflin, for all that they do for the students, they're really community oriented and mm -hmm. try to draw in the Orangeburg community. But what do you have that you're trying to do or have in place? for the uh, Orangeburg community? 
Uh, one of the biggest thing is trying to push memberships. Uh, develop a, uh, I will develop a brochure uh, for the community to put, be pushed out to show them the different types of memberships that we have and also uh, showcase some of the equipment and the rooms that we have that they are available to them. Uh, so that's one of my biggest things once school is out and this summer, just pushing my brochure to show them the memberships that uh, we are at a great price compared to other places. That, and we are very welcome to everybody to come in and, and be involved from the community. Okay, okay. So you're going to sell memberships and get people involved has is that something new at Clafton or has that been something that they they've uh, had for a while now uh they definitely have it uh had it at least a year prior to me coming here and that i know of uh but i'm definitely making an effort because the, the membership fees goes back into the program to help uh with the facilities equipment and other pro things with the program and so one of the biggest things for me is to push it so that the students and the community can see that the money in the from the uh, membership is being used to put back into the program. Oh, that that's really good. That's that that's really good. Your students, how many students you have working with you? Right now, at this point, I have roughly ten students. Wow. Uh, I have roughly four interns. Uh, my students come in roughly at eight o'clock in the morning and they stay till eight o'clock at night uh, running the facility, helping me out with the intramural and the recreational side. Also setting up rooms if we need, if somebody is renting or reserving the room, uh, we'll set it up for them if, if I can, if we can, if it's not a big, big event. And this working the front desk, doing memberships, checking people in. So uh, I definitely appreciate all the help they have given me since I've been here and I uh, hope to grow the program in the fall where we have a lot more student workers that want to come and work and I say with the best department on campus. It has to be one of the, the best jobs for students to work to be involved in the wellness center and intramurals and all that that has to be a job that people would want to have there. Yes sir and uh, like I tell them we, we're going to have fun uh, it's all about having fun but also you learning too uh some life skills that you'll use in your professional life uh once you graduate from classroom so hopefully i can help them with that by growing and also just by having fun okay well go into a little bit more detail about the facilities that you have because i i hear you got a new building coming up and you got some things going on you have some facilities that everybody else doesn't have yes uh my facility uh we have uh, all the, the weight room, uh, we have a dance studio, uh, we have a demo kitchen. Also, we have classrooms that people can reserve. Uh, on the other side of campus with uh, Student Life, they have a brand new building coming, a student center that will be uh, ribbon cutting. I think it's on next Friday. Mm. So it, it's definitely going to be something good for the students once they go to the student uh, union. Uh, get food and stuff. They, then after that, they come on down here to the wellness center and just enjoy themselves from doing fitness classes or participating in intramurals, or just doing open gym play, just going in the gym, shooting some balls. So we have a lot going on for this campus, and I'm very excited of what the future holds for this campus. Oh, that that's really good. Rumor has it that the new facility has a movie theater going in there? Yes, uh, that's what I, what I heard. Uh, that they definitely have a movie theater coming. So it's going to be great for the students, uh, especially the ones who stay on the weekend, being able to go there and catch a movie that they might like. So uh, I'm definitely happy for them and happy for this building coming on on the campus for them. Well, when you have a, a college campus and you have a lot of students that are on campus, it's incumbent upon the university to try to provide activities to keep them entertained mm -hmm. and out of trouble. Yes, and the more campus oriented events and activities you have it tends to be a safer environment for someone to have their their son's daughter grandchildren uh attending and it sounds like claflin is really on its way in terms of continuing to develop that uh, no yes sir yes sir and uh, i'm definitely looking forward to collaborating with uh campus life on a lot of events uh so we can give a kid something to do when it's the weekend and try to keep them out of trouble uh, just keeping them on campus and keeping them entertained with them doing different events. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the collaboration with them. 
how does it work with you and South Carolina State being so far apart? No, I no, being right next to each other. How does that work in terms of both campuses working together? And what 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 is that like? What's that been like? Uh, uh, I met uh, the intramural coordinator, Anthony. Uh, I can't think of his last name, uh, but we are working together right now. He's running a five on five basketball league and that I have put one of our men's team in also uh, in that league. So we working, collaborating on that. Also, we have some more plans for collaborations for the Falcon and staff this summer. We want to mm-hmm. do a uh, basketball game. Uh, kickball game and a softball game. Uh, so we are working and we in talks of that right now just to see how we can pull it off on what campus uh, if we need to go to a park or something. But yes, uh, working with him been great so far. Uh, he's uh, welcomed me. Uh, being a new guy, he ain't told me a lot. Uh, so I'm looking forward to more collaborations with South Carolina State and their intramural department. Okay, so you're looking forward to having some uh, faculty and staff uh, competitive games that always start off as fun, but they still get competitive. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, we, we, we still get that competitive in, in all of us, regardless when we came up as kids playing. So uh, I know it's going to be uh, some great competition amongst the two schools, and, uh, and uh, I know we'll come out on top. I love it. I love it. What do you have in store? that you have up your sleeve that you're going to reveal for the new year that's new, that you've learned or have seen that you want to bring uh, to Claflin this year or next year when school year starts? Uh, right before the school year ends in next month, we are Uh-oh. doing, I've started a program, Outdoor Adventures. And Outdoor Adventures consists of this hiking, going camping, fishing, doing zip lining, and things like that for the outdoors because some people don't want to be indoors playing basketball or lifting weights. They want to be outdoors in nature. So hopefully I can get a, a nice group of kids and uh, staff to come with me. And our first trip would be going zip lining. And so I'm looking forward to that. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I let you go the first time with that. Uh, <laughs> zip lining. Uh, excuse me? Talk a little bit about this zip lining. Yes, uh, I found the uh, organization in Greenville does uh does zip lining and do high ropes and low ropes courses uh so that was one of the things i put out to the students would they be interested in doing that and uh, i have probably 20 kids signed up that's interested in doing the outdoor adventure so that's going to be my first uh adventure outdoor adventure with the students next month so i'm definitely looking forward to that and i hope they have a great time because i will be participating myself getting on the zip line and uh, going through the high ropes course with them Oh my goodness, zip lining. And you got 20 students interested in doing it? Yes, sir. Got them already signed up with their email addresses and their they phone number. So I'll be reaching out to them uh, to let them know the date and the time to see if they still want to go. And uh, we'll get the ball rolling with that. You make sure you take a lot of pictures and video of that because we need to put that on the show. Uh, most definitely. I definitely will. And uh, pass it on to you. Oh man, that, that, that get me excited. Not that I'm going to get. <laughs> My overweight stuff up there on it, but I'm excited for the opportunity for some of the students to do those things that, you know, they kind of like living a little dangerously now. Uh, yes, sir. They they do. Uh, myself, I'm kind of scared of uh, scared of heights, uh, but I'm definitely excited to just do zip line. I, I never did it, so I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it. Okay, okay. Well, I doubt that you can top that one, but anything else you got up your sleeve that you, you want to try and implement and bring bring the uh, Claflin's campus? Yes, sir. Starting next fall, uh, I'm going to try to find some more fitness instructors because I like to do a hip-hop or just a, any type of line dance. I'm looking for an instructor for that and uh, different other types of classes. Also, we'll be doing flag football in the fall, and I'm looking to take uh, make a club team for men and women so we can travel also and, uh, and compete in different tournaments that uh, my professional organ- organization, NERSA, which is the National Intramural Recreation Sports Association, uh, they host a lot of tournaments in the fall. Uh, so I'm, I'm planning on taking some of my teams there uh, that uh, they can compete and uh, hopefully we can win at these tournaments. So them are just a couple of things that I'm going to bring, but we're going to have a, a big schedule program for the whole fall and spring semesters. 
Wow, and that flag football, at least in Florida, some of these other states have really grown for women. It's it's become yes, high participation. Oh, yes, sir. And uh, some schools now is making it as a, a varsity sport. So yeah. I, I'm definitely excited for the women, uh, whoever comes in and the ladies that we have here, they want to still compete. They might have played a sport in high school or didn't play a sport in high school, but just still want to come out and uh, have fun and compete in the flag football competition. So uh, I look forward to that and all the other uh, events and programs that I have in the fall and the spring. Man, oh man. Thank you got a lot of things that you trying to unveil. Uh, what has your administration been like in terms of you coming up with some of these creative ideas, some of them they may or may not have done before? Uh, they, they, they have backed me 100%. Uh, Mr. O'Neill and uh, Associate Directors, Miss Lee and Miss Dion, uh, they have backed me and they they excited for, for the things that I'm bringing. I posted uh, flyers up about the outdoor adventures and they came to me said oh this is a great idea so whatever I do and things I'm coming up with they backing it 100 percent and uh and I look forward to them and keep helping me with it but they have been great to me so far oh man that that's really good because oftentimes we hear people having ideas and things that they want to do and when they run it up the flagpole it doesn't go far so I'm mm -hmm. glad that you're at a uh, working with a program and a department that encourages that and wants to do new and creative things that that in itself is a plus yes definitely definitely been a plus for me just to know that uh i'm part of a team that uh respects me and uh really want me to do be my best and do my best with all the help uh well man that, those are encouraging words and this has been an exciting show for me um just to hear some of the things that you're doing because we all are so student oriented and mm -hmm. believe in the students Yes, and um, just really glad that you're going to bring that with you. Is there anything you'd like to say that you want people to know before we close? Uh, the main thing is we're going to have a lots of fun. Uh, I'm going to bring in lots of different types of programs for everybody to be involved, not just the athlete, but anybody who won't just come out and participate in anything. And um, I'm going to bring a lot starting next fall and uh, just be on the lookout for it. And you'll see me around campus. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a dropping of the mic. We're going to close on that. We appreciate Mr. Perry Brown taking the time to come on and, and be on the Claflin Athletic Show and sharing some of his ideals, plans, and goals, and aspirations, and his excitement. We appreciate you being here, Mr. Brown. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it. For a limited time only. The first 500 downloads of the Insights app will get free premium content for life. Watch the Mick and Rick show, Black History Moments, Remembering the Legends, Insights Magazine, Faith TV, along with the Game of the Week series. See Insights creative content with skits from the Church Sisters, students in generations and more. The Insights app is on your Android and iPhone and is now being downloaded in countries worldwide.